Hey guys, what is up? Serenity Rooster here, aka Roxy Rooster or Six Inch Rooster. You guys can call me anything you guys want. And however you feel comfortable with, you guys can even call me by my real name, Sean. I don't really mind. So, yeah, today I'm gonna teach you how to do the spider web effect. This was recently on uh, Sesso's HQ channel, but just in case you're not subscribed to him, um, I'm here to bring it to you guys. So, this is how it is gonna look like. Uh, it's like a little cool spider web, and of course, you can uh, switch up the color of the text and shit. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a text. I'll teach you text and um, text and logos. I'll teach you both. So you want to make all these two, and if you got my Lightroom on my uh, first tutorial, oh shit. You should have gotten all these materials. If you didn't, go check them out. Uh, it's my uh, previous video from this one. So yeah, you want to make the object. Uh, you want to make it thicker. First of all, so you get your depth and put it to at least like 50 or 40. Doesn't really matter. Depends on what your style and what you think is good. So I'm just gonna pick a text, Kimberly. So yeah. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna so you made this all fill of caps and radius two. Now you're just gonna copy and paste, which is control V, control C, control V. Now you're gonna wanna get uh, hyper nerves and what this does it just makes your edges all round, so like bubble letters, you can kinda say. So after you got that, you wanna get this and add an array and you just wanna drag that in. So that's basically it now. You're almost done. So now for the yeah, text, now you just want to make this point four, or whatever you feel like. The the lower the number is, the lower the the thinner the spider web is gonna be. Now you want to drag just a little, just so you can see it in the front. But you can always keep it in the front. Now you can only see it in the uh, on the sides. I like to keep the spider web just the color it is in. I like to add any material on this. Let's try rust because rust and spider webs kind of go kind of go together because you know it's rusted and there's uh, there's gonna be rusted and there's gonna be spider webs on it. So yeah that looks actually pretty good. If you make it to cube it will probably look better. Cubic. I'm sorry I sound like this it's because you know, it's late. It's kind of late. Yeah, this looks so much better. Yeah. So that's just how you make it. You just run. You just render this out, and you just do that. So this is how you make it on the logos. <coughs> uh, you go to merge, and you go to any logo you want. Let's say I want one for da 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 era. For the text, you can also put bold or anything you want. Let's see how much time we're at. We're at four minutes. Okay, that's good. Now, what you want to do, you just want to basically do the same thing Control V, Control C, Control V, and you just want to go to Hyper Nerves and drag that in. It's basically the same thing, same exact steps. Now, what you want to do, you want to go to Atom Array. Yeah. That makes it like that. Basically the same thing except how you would make uh, text or logo 3D. So that's basically how you do it, guys. 
It's only dragged out a bit. And let's see how it looks. And that looks fine. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, so that's basically how you do it. You can, like, put this, like, with, like, you know, like, the rust thing and all that crap. Yeah, you can, uh, you can do that. That's basically how you do it. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. You don't have to rate because I don't even know if there's rating anymore. But yeah, that's how you do it, guys. And yeah, peace, guys.